welcome back to my channel. Today I'm showing you my once a month grocery haul for our family of 11. We like to shop most of our groceries at the very beginning of the month. We plan our menu for the entire month. We try to pick it up all at once so that we don't have to keep running back to the stores. We do go back one time in the middle of the month just to pick up some fresh fruit, fresh vegetables, milk. But other than that, this is it. So I like to go to about four stores. Today I'll even show you some online orders I got. And it's everything we need for the month. Our monthly budget is about $1,300 a month and this includes our household items and diapers in that amount. And last month we just came off a freezer and pantry challenge where we really tried to eat out of our freezer and pantry and spend as very little as possible. So our freezers and pantries are very much emptied out and we are about to fill them up. I started out with Sam's Club and I'm gonna show you, we did a pickup order so I ordered it all online which is my favorite and I'm gonna show you what we got. Here it is in all its glory. Putting it away is the hard part. Let me just start with my dairy cheese section. Please keep in mind that we have nine children and we like cheese. We got eight pounds of butter. We will go through all of that this month. Three blocks of sharp cheddar cheese. We eat this stuff on sandwiches. This I like on my salads, this feta cheese. And then these I just stick right away in my freezer because they won't go bad there and we'll use them in dinners and meals that we make. I like that Mexican style just because it's a mix of several cheeses. And then I got a couple things of string cheese. We let our kids take string cheese as a snack about once a day. Uh, just when they want it. Another thing on the cheese front is this mozzarella cheese. We use this to cook with and do some lunches with too. Were you eating your apple downstairs? Oh my. <laughs> we let our kids snack on fruit a lot whenever they want most of the time. So I wanted to keep some nuts up by our fruit. We have some open shelving here that we kind of made by just taking our <laughs> covered doors off. And I keep granola in there, but I want to keep some jars just of nuts so that the kids can always take some fruit or nuts. We also got sunglasses and a pencil. So I picked up for that area some pistachios that are already shelled, some almonds, peanuts, and some mixed nuts. Solo really likes the mixed nuts. We won't eat through all of those in a month. It will be nice to have them just available for the kids to eat and get some a little protein. We got these two yogurts. We have these for snack on Saturdays. The kids do, that is. And they really like it. It's a fun treat around here. We got a big box of tortilla chips because we'll do nachos once or twice this month. Okay, we got some mixed fruit. We use this for snacks. We also use it for smoothies. Green beans for the freezer, and then I got a new vegetable medley I haven't tried before um, for frozen vegetables. We'll cook with those as well. We like to make chicken curry, and I thought I'd replace our regular vegetables with that. It's a good, easy Sunday lunch for us that goes in the crock pot. And then um, I think I got 12 bushels of bananas. This will not last the whole two weeks, so when they're gone, they're gone. If they start to go bad, which rarely we, we almost never throw a banana out. If they start looking brown fast, because sometimes we get a bunch that just go brown faster than we can eat them, then we peel them, put them in Ziploc bags, and put them in the freezer and use them for our smoothies, banana pancakes, banana bread, banana muffins, whatever. So we never waste the bananas. Although lately we've been eating at least this much in two weeks, at least, without even having to freeze them. I got four things of honey. I use honey to make granola. I use honey to make bread. And so that's what this honey in particular will be used for. And then two things of maple syrup. Maple syrup I use to sweeten our homemade yogurt. One new meal we found in our pantry challenge that somebody suggested to us and we love is using our homemade bread, putting some natural peanut butter on it, and then some maple syrup on top. And so that's gonna be our Saturday breakfast this month for the kids, and so that's another thing the maple syrup will be used for. We got this big garlic, it's such a great deal, and it's great to have on hand to cook with. And we just finished the last one we had, and we cook with a lot of garlic. Two things of massive sour cream, we sure do love sour cream here. Now I'm gonna show you our meat section. Do you feel like you're walking through a grocery store? <laughs> okay, we got one, two bags, 10 pound bags of chicken breast. That's good for us for the month. We got two bags of chicken thighs. I think those are six pounds each. We got two bags of tilapia. I still have one bag left that we're gonna eat this week. We got shrimp. We try to do fish or seafood once a week. 
I'm gonna make a really good dish that I hope to show you soon out of the shrimp that um, my uncle taught me, and it's Pakistani. It's so good. Then this is our beef for the month. I got three of these of stewed, oh no, four of these of stewed meat. We eat this once a week, and this, sometimes we use the whole package, uh, so, and then we have leftovers. Sometimes we do uh, half of the package, and that's not very much meat per person at all. Just to give you an example, one is four pounds. We use it mostly for the Kenyan dishes that my husband cooks. Then this is our ground beef for the month. We use half of this each for one meal. We're eating ground beef, I think, on Saturdays this month mostly. That's just kind of how I menu plan. I pick like chicken on Mondays, vegetarian on Tuesdays, that kind of thing, crock pots on Sundays. And so one of the days this week, we're always having ground beef. And then the two of my Sunday meals also need ground beef. So that represents six meals. Okay, one thing that happened during our pantry challenge is we really cleaned out everything. We had no flour. We actually ran out yesterday. We ran out of salt even. <laughs> we're running out of it all. So. My kids have not been able to bake much this last month, so I got this big thing of white flour. We mostly use whole wheat flour here for everything possible, except those desserts that my kids like to make. We're finding more and more we can make with the whole wheat flour, but not all. They sure do love their chocolate chip cookies the old fashioned way. And then I got this big bag of brown sugar. I thought I got one brown sugar and one white sugar, but I don't see the white sugar here. Instead, I see two brown sugars, so I'm not sure what happened there. I must have made a mistake. But I have yet to shop at Aldi and Walmart, so I'll make sure I get the white sugar there, and we'll certainly eventually go through this brown sugar. Another thing I picked up was coconut oil. And we're working on one right now, so it's always good for me to have a backup. And then I got the yeast. Lots of you have told me to try the yeast from Sam's Club. We're making all our own bread right now, so that will help. I tend to keep my yeast in the freezer just to make sure it doesn't go bad. This is our hot chocolate mix. We do this for snack once a week. And raisins is a, something the kids like to have to put in their oatmeal and their granola. And then one other thing of meat I forgot to show you is we love these bacon bits from Sam's Club. They're like really big crumble bacon. We especially love putting them in our eggs and I love them on my salads. They make everything taste better for sure. And they're very easy. Okay, we got two big things of pretzels. We have pretzels once a week for snack. Then I tried this out last month because we go through so many things of mayonnaise all the time and it was great and it was a lot easier to just buy this massive thing it didn't seem very expensive but i have not really done the um, nitty gritty calculations to see if i'm saving money however it seems so much more convenient to just have this so since i have one open in my fridge i bought one for my pantry so i don't run out just to give you some perspective that is how big it is <laughs> someone asked me what extra heavy means i have no idea it just tastes like normal mayonnaise though <laughs> we got some avocados i sure wish these were cheaper we pay about a dollar an avocado this time of year but once in a while it's worth it because they're so good we got some apples the organic apples were actually a little cheaper this time so woohoo got three bags of apples this will last this fruit will last us about two weeks and then we'll replenish we got two Two bags of pears and we got two bags of oranges and I tried these cara cara are they called oranges and they're supposed to be really sweet we've tried them before and they're great and then just some regular oranges got four milks I'll get more of that at Aldi but they have a limit of six at Aldi so that's why I get some here don't ask me why the limit I think they like to keep plenty on hand because Aldi milk is really cheap and so they want you to come in there and find it. So they limit people how much they can get on those really cheap items. Then we got their almond milk at Sam's Club. I was just trying it out. It was actually, it seemed like a pretty good price and it's organic too. I usually pick up almond milk at Aldi, but we got it here. We got one heavy whipping cream. And then for my pantry, I got a couple of ranch dressings. So here's some of our fresh vegetables. We got some tomatoes. I love those multicolored ones. Some mushrooms. A thing of salad. I have some more salad in my fridge still that I'm using up and I got two big bags of broccoli We'll roast these I'm sure and two ba bags of Brussels sprouts. I have one more bag in my fridge We'll roast those a couple times So a bag and a half is about a, goes with a meal for us I forgot one cheese thing and that was our cottage cheese We will add this to some of our breakfasts 
And then I got two bags of coleslaw mix. I will cook with this with some sausage and Cajun seasoning just for an easy meal. Then I tried out something I haven't tried for a while. Actually, I think it's a new product for us. We used to get something similar, the whole grain tortillas, the Santa Fe from Sam's Club, but now they have whole grain and flax. The ingredient list looked pretty good compared to the whole wheat tortillas I get at Aldi, and there were 20 in a bag. So I usually buy 10 of them and 10 in a bag. So this way I was able to just get five of them, and we'll try these out. They're not as good as like the Trader Joe's whole wheat tortillas that only have five ingredients. They're certainly not that good, but they are a lot cheaper than that option. The best would be if I started making tortillas, which I am not ready to do yet. <laughs> All right, I picked up some Diet Coke just to stock myself up. I am a Diet Coke drinker and I know how terrible it is for me. I quit all the time and drink tea instead and then I go back to it. I love the quote, don't judge me because I sin differently than you do. <laughs> Finally from Sam's Club, I got a big thing of toilet paper. We have to get one of those, at least one every month. And I got some baby wipes. We've been using a lot of reusable baby wipes, our cloth ones, uh, to because we really needed them last month, so that helped push us one month further. Um, but it is sure convenient to have these around and stick them in a diaper bag and use them to clean up carpet spills and all the things. I also got a big dish soap. Just I get the members mark, it's like this big. I am not seeing it here, which means my toddler probably got a hold of it, which means I need to go figure that out. But I'll be back with you for the next haul. My total from Sam's Club today was $808. And I realized what happened with the white sugar when I thought about the coconut sugar that was also missing. I I ordered two co coconut sugars, three pound bags from Sam's Club, and a large white sugar. They are both coming, or all three are coming by mail. What you saw was $808, and then what's coming by mail is $29 total. So hopefully those will come in time for me to show you that. Next I'm gonna show you my Aldi haul. This is the next day. I could not do it all in one day, and this one is the one that wears me out. So if I look tired, it's because I'm tired. So I went into Aldi with Micah and Tori. They were a big help to me, but we did go in hungry, which is a big no-no, as you know, probably. <laughs> so I'll show you a couple things we picked up just because we went in hungry. Here's all what I got at Aldi. My total was right around $250. I picked up this garlic press because it was a good price and we need one, um, but the rest is food. <laughs> so we got a couple Italian dressings because uh, one of the new meals I got in my Pantry challenge was using noodles and adding pepperoni, mozzarella cheese, and Italian dressing. The kids really liked it for a pizza. We called it a pizza pasta salad. We'll do that for lunch once a week this month. I got some jalapeno peppers for a chicken jalapeno popper soup I think I'm making. It's a Trim Healthy Mama meal. Sweet potatoes I like to cook up for the baby and we do eat those for lunch. We have baked potatoes or sweet potatoes for lunch once a week, the kids do. So that's, you'll see a lot of potatoes too. These were a really good price. I think $2.50 for a bag of these and my kids will devour them like candy. So I just got them for a treat for the kids even though I have plenty of fruits and vegetables already. <laughs> my kitchen's kind of a mess today, guys. I got a couple bags of black beans. That's, black beans and pinto are the only, I, the only dried beans I can find at Aldi. And three green peppers for one of the meals I'm making. These guys are in here cooking dinner while I'm doing this, so. I'm not complaining about my messy kitchen because it's making good food for us tonight. That's the noise you hear if you're hearing stuff. But we've got some green onions. I love these in my salad and we put them in lots of things. Actually, these peppers are for my salads too. A couple of my kids like them, but it's mostly me that eats them. And then I got a few bags of cilantro. We cook a lot with cilantro. Basmati brown rice, that is our favorite brown rice. And I got several bags of that to restock my pantry. These. Cheerios or off-brand are for the baby for snacks and granola bars we do once a week for snacks for the kids and these are some Ziploc bags. They changed their sprouted grain bread at Aldi but I got four of those. So Luca's eating it and I eat it here and there. Then I got three jars of this tikka masala sauce. I will use these three jars and some chicken breasts in the crock pot one Sunday for a really easy dinner after church. I just put them in the crock pot and it will be done to shred up and put on some brown rice. 
and maybe a vegetable on the side for a really quick, easy meal. We like that a lot. I got 12 oatmeal here. We have eaten through all our oatmeal. We like the old fashioned oats and I make granola with it too. So I'll make granola probably three or four times this month and each time I do takes two of them. Plus we eat some oatmeal just as oatmeal. And we use some in our bread too. Our bre My bread maker recipe ha uses oats as well. The applesauce is just for breakfast once a week for the kids. Needed some pepper. I think I got two of these. I'm not sure the other one I'll probably find around here somewhere or it's still in the car. <laughs> I got some chocolate chips. The kids love baking chocolate chip cookies so we're stocking up the pantry for that. And then tomorrow, February 27th, is Noelle's birthday so I picked up a cake and some frosting and these white chocolate chips because the kids and I thought we could make a cake and put the white chocolate chips in the cake mix and just make it fancy. We'll probably put some food coloring a little bit in this cream cheese to make it pink. She'll be happy. I got canola oil. It's not something I usually keep around except when my mother-in-law was here and frying things a lot. We used it a lot. But the one thing I don't like in my bread recipe that I cook in the oven is that it does call for canola oil. So. I think I may try experimenting with some coconut oil or something different, but for now, I picked up that. And then I needed some olive oil. There's six milk, that's what Aldi lets me get. Two huge bags of potatoes. Um, they've already broken into it for their for the meal they're cooking over there. We use them to cook, but we also use them, like I said, for lunches once a week. The pepperoni is for those that pasta salad. The ham is just for, we put on tortillas and on bread for the kids for lunches and I'm going to stick that straight in the freezer so there's no chance of it going bad at all and then I pull it out as I need it. Then I got six dozen eggs. That's the limit they have for me there. They actually told me they had a cream cheese limit too, they thought, but they let me buy <laughs> all the cream cheese. 10 bags of bagels. We do bagels once a week for breakfast for the kids. They have about one and a half, most of the kids, and then we also make some smoothies on the side. This big thing of ice cream goes with the cake. And then the Greek yogurt. Lately, wow, my kitchen really is a mess. <laughs> it drives me nuts, but it's okay because we'll clean it up tonight really well. But when I make yogurt, I like, I used to always set aside half a cup of yogurt to make my next batch of yogurt. Um, but lately I've just been using it straight from the store, the half cup, my starter, and my yogurt has been much thicker that way. So. I've been buying a little more Greek yogurt to do it that way, but it still saves me a ton of money to make it. I picked up some dark chocolate, I think four or five bars there, because they had it, they don't always, oh, here's what we bought because we were hungry until I let the kids pick out something. Micah picked these, Tori picked some cookies that the kids have already broken into, and I saw this. This is what I was looking for at Christmas time. Can you tell? Yes, pork wine cheese, it is so good. Now I gotta figure out what I'm gonna dip in that since I'm trying to eat on plan, but man, this stuff is good. Yeah, those were all impulse buys. And then I remembered also when I was walking down the baby food aisle that we are traveling with Destiny this month and I want to have some easy things for her when we're traveling. I don't usually buy this kind of baby food at all, but these looked very easy to have on hand. Hopefully she likes some of these kind of snacky things. It's just convenient. Convenience food for babies, right? This is an experiment. So many people have told me to try the Aldi ketchup and that it tastes just like Heinz. So even though I have ketchup, I remembered this time and I grabbed one to try out. It's only like a dollar sixty-nine, and this is pretty large. So if we like it, this will save us some money for sure. This is all the cream cheese I picked up. We're, we use it with the bagels, but we're also cooking two different meals that will call for cream cheese, I think. So that's what that's about. And then these are just some canned tomatoes crushed tomatoes and tuna that I'm restocking my pantry with. My total was about $250 and let me show you what I got at Trader Joe's. My total was $29 I believe for all of this. I got two bags of kale, Ooh, Judah's chopping away over there, and then I got some roasted salted sunflower seeds. I love these on my salads, it makes my salad way better. Green onions and that makes all the difference. <laughs> and then they have they had the peanut butter that we like. It's really all natural peanut butter and it's $1.99 each and we get the creamy kind. So I picked up eight of those and then I got a few chocolate bars there too because I like theirs as well. They're 85% chocolate. I got the kale at Trader Joe's because the kale at Aldi looked bad. There's some beans I couldn't find at Aldi so I saved Walmart for the end and I often do that. I save my Walmart 
pick up haul it till the end. I have already things in my cart, but I'm gonna add everything I couldn't find at Aldi that I still need. And then Solo just told me that some of the onions I thought were good were are bad, so I'll add onions. I like to have that last store be something where I can get just about everything, and Walmart is that for me. So everything I can't get at the other stores, I will now update my order and we'll pick that up tomorrow. Got it all cleaned up. And a good dinner. Okay, next I have my Walmart haul. Uh, we I had a few of these triple zero yogurts. These are a treat. Solo really likes these, and they are pretty much on plan. So we got. They didn't have as many as I picked out, so they just gave me a few. It's like caramel and coconut. I think we ordered banana cream too, and that's what they didn't have. We use this pizza sauce because it's very low sugar, almost no sugar. We use it as pizza sauce, and we use it as pasta sauce too, just because it's so low in sugar. No added sugar. There's birthday candles because I always forget them till I need them. I have a birthday one each month the next few months, including today. Peas, cauliflower for a recipe. I got some kale and spinach. They finally had frozen kale again. We love using that for cooking a quick Kenyan meal. It's a vegetarian meal for us often, which is Sukuma Wiki. I have a video on my channel about it, but we do make it a couple times a month usually. And I got some chickpeas and white beans just to fill up my pantry with. This is milk for Hope because she can't do with lactose right now. And then I got some onions that I realized, I, ha I thought I had onions and realized they were bad. So I picked those up at the last minute. The one thing I forgot is coconut milk, but I think we can go without it till next month. I also got my package from Amazon. From Amazon this month, I ordered my toilet bowl cleaner to stock up and we get our AA batteries from Amazon a lot of times. We use that brand and it works great. I forgot to show you these came from Walmart as well. Two 60 pack of eggs. All right, I think this is the final thing. I got this from Vitacost. I've used Vitacost a lot in the past. This is not sponsored at all in any way. I just like them. I think they have good prices for some specific things. Sometimes I get apple cider vinegar there, but Aldi has great prices on that now. So, I, so I've been able to switch over to Aldi for a number of things. However, I love the raw honey. So I always, when I do an order, I make sure it's enough to get the free shipping, which I think is like $45 right now. And I always look online for coupon codes too because there's a lot of them. The raw honey we will use in place of jelly on toast or with peanut butter. There's a lot of raw honeys you can buy in stores that are still pretty liquidy. This is like always hard <laughs> and it's just like what we get when we get it from the farmer's market locally. I especially try to get it in allergy season if I have room in my budget. Of course, it is more expensive than honey you would get in the store, but I still think it's a pretty good price. Each one of these is about $7.99. Yeah, it's expensive, but a lot healthier for us. And then I got some peach tea there. They have tons of tea options, and my kids asked for these, and our piano teacher also likes orange tea, so I make sure I have that for her, so do the kids. And then I got some vitamin D there, just because I was trying to get my order up to free shipping, and I needed these anyway, and they were a good price. They were, I think, the same as what I got them at Target, if not a little cheaper. But these two guys come out of a different budget, not my grocery budget. I'm just showing you. I was able to get free shipping and find a coupon code for 15% off. So the price I gave you on that honey was before the 15% off. My total was $51, but that was also with the vitamins. So when I, I'm going to give you a rundown of all my totals without the vitamins. because we are having carpet put in. It's just crazy. Around here, it's so loud. I had to go to my mudroom and shut the door. <laughs> the carpet is going in upstairs and wow, it's loud. I wanted to just tell you that our comments, the last I knew, were still turned off. And this is YouTube's doing, it's not our doing. They are trying to catch some child predator things going on with family channels. So YouTube has disabled the comments on many family channels. It's something that you can go in as the channel and enable the comments and then moderate every comment. Um, but from everything we've read right now, YouTube is recommending that we leave them off and that it will make the process quicker of what they're trying to do. So at this point, we have decided to leave them off. I'm not sure if that will change in the future or what's gonna happen, but for everybody who's asking, that's where we're at. 
And thank you guys for watching. I will try to put a community tab up with my um, thumbnail of this video so you can go there and comment here on YouTube. I will also leave a thumbnail on Instagram so you can go there and comment as well. Thank you guys for watching today and we will see you again soon. Bye.